will start from the head of the grid for the first time in MotoGP and all Yamaha front row for the 350th MotoGP start. Can he make it? 200 Premier Class podiums here today. Jack Milamaro and Juan Mir from row three. They've had excellent race pace all weekend, particularly in FP4, but Michelin soft rear tyre. Tyre preservation, tyre management will be critical. The start will be vital. Will it in Barcelona? It's chilly out there. You can see Hernandez and Nicky Hayden making his last Grand Prix appearance in Malaysia. Row seven, Loris Baz, Tony Elias and Eugene Lafferty. Row eight, Mike Demeglio, Ant West and Damien Cudlin. And row nine, all on his own, the naughty boy, Hector Barbara. Hector Barbara, if you are just joining us, uh, penalised for an incident this morning with Paulus Bargo. He was 10th on the grid. He starts now from the back of formers of the modern MotoGP era. We're about to start the Portuguese Grand Prix, the final race of the season. It we are underway in the French Grand Prix. A good start there, actually, from Jack Miller. And Cal Crutchlow's trying to go round the outside as we climb uphill. Cal Crutchlow, what a start from the Brit, number 35. But Miller will take the inside line into turn one. Okay, through turn number 12, there is Valentino Rossi then trying to find his way through. It's Danny Pedrosa that's in control, though, of this Sepang race. Pedrosa's on back to Joe Lorenzo. It's up to almost one second. Marquez is a further half a second back. Here comes Rossi. We ride with him. Marquez in front of him, I don't think he is quite close enough on the brakes, they come even, Valentino Rossi can't get up the inside of Marquez as they come into turn 15, this is the way Lorenzo slipped up there. I just wonder if we might see a red flag here if they can't get the Fabio Quattararo, a shocker for Andrea Di Vizioso. Mark Marquez now has won the back straight into Brooklyn from Rossi and Rins with Vinales then following Morbidelli. In around Walter. Oh, it's a cut to is, is that the Vincioso? I think it is. Oh, fire from the Ducati for the high side. Down he went. What well, the fact of Ducati's clattered in. Believe it. They're trying to get that bike out. They're looking to Davizioso now. I hope he's over. Has Zarco got that from the Ducati deal signed yet? Yeah. That's a big blow for Zarco and Ducati. Andrea De Vizioso and Valentino Rossi. One and two here. Miller sixth. De Vizioso can't believe it. He's gone from undaunted to unimpressed with it. The championship will change. Down in then. Ooh, Jack Miller. That almost was tight. That was Valentino. Tight. So, Rossi almost involved again. Second time in a row, hasn't it now, that De Vizioso has been taken out. Look at that. A replay of that. But another monumental swing in the pendulum in terms of this year's 2020 mode the Chiefs Grand Prix at the end of lap one Lin Jarvis will be over the moon and there's three Yamahas out front at the end of lap one not many people so Alex Rins he made up so many places on that opening lap and what the heck happened to Maverick Vinales on lap one as well oh. Fit here on Morbidelli also Pecco Bagnaia a brilliant start from him he's up five places likewise Alicia. so Franco Morbidelli when he got in this position in Bazaar, though, he never looked back. He got an absolutely sensational start. Turn two. Maverick Vinales just didn't get off the line very well. It's simple as that. Oh, he it's Petrucci. And it, it, chain reaction. So apologies there to Joan Zarco. Which inadvertently has taken out Zarco and Davizioso. Oh, dear me, me. More than is then just behind him. And then it's Alicia Spargaro. Yeah, Andrea De Vizioso, obviously, because why De Vizioso was blaming Zarco, and that's that's why I kind of pointed the finger of blame at Joan Zarco as well, but quite clear um, what will be his teammate in 2021. Well, yeah. there's an ultimately failed pursuit, wasn't it? Pressure. I think Maverick Vinales getting on now. He's lost another place. Vinales over the line at the end of lap two, six. To Turn one, I think he'd lost seven or eight places. It's going to be a disaster for him. Of course, he was one point down in the championships. Just stop ahead of Juan Mir. Mir will be more than happy with that in the first couple of laps. He's made up three first lap instant. Instigated by Petrucci. Zarco just reacting to the mistake by Danilo and then Davizio. So the Yamaha is able to run their lines. The virtual fan wall. Well, the start of this race, if you're a Dovey fan, you'll be very, very disappointed. It's Morbidelli then that leads from Rossing in warm-up. It's all ifs, buts, what's and maybes, but you can't help but think where Franco Morbidelli would be up to the garage doors and will shut them. He's not entertaining any cameras. I've not seen him fire up. Miller, Miller left the door open there then. So it's Morbidelli and Valentino Rossi. One and two here. Miller th sixth. Davizioso can't believe it. 
He's gone from undaunted to unimpressed with it. The championship will change. Down in then. Ooh, Jack Miller. That almost T bone. Valentino. Rossi almost involved again. Second time in a row, hasn't it? Now that Davizioso's oh. time. That's when we're really going to find out where the cream rises to the top because that's when we suspect onto the home straight we go to complete lap five. It's as you were. More Bedelli, Rossi, Grand Mira, a great. Well, here we go. You'll off see now. Off the line. Not a particularly great start. Bogged it there. Absolute weapons alongside him. Look, there's Zarco. There's Rins. There's Dobby you know as what? well going through places as he lost on just the run to turn one. Zarco missed the start. He was trying that the caddy hole shot device for the way through turn two on lap one. Great lap from Jack Miller. Fastest lap of the race from the number 43 on the Pram Actor Cat Cord when he went to win the race here two years ago. Just up ahead of him there, Fabio Quattararo right now will be hanging into this podium fight. The victory fight still on that Pramac Ducati. On board with Rossi, three turns. Petrucci, and it, it, chain reaction. So apologies there to Joan Zarco. Yeah, the Yamaha stopped. They're both going to go a bit deep here, but he manages just about to hold on. Quattro on his rivals down the years here in Barcelona. The doctor gets a taste of his own medicine down into turn one. Ain't Franco Morbidelli. They've not raced in co close quarters too many times actually since they both placed. What did he say yesterday? It's so hard to overtake on the Yamaha. Well, he's about to find out exactly how hard it is because full advantage taken by Fabio Quattararo up the inside of Rossi made sure he could see Rossi on the outside three of his men on the podium here today still Jack Miller holding on four tenths to drift in fourth place here's Polispargo in well this is a big gang behind Polispargo isn't it Rims can't fight Okay, through turn number 12 there is Valentino Rossi then trying to find his way through it's Danny Pedro though of this Sepang race Pedrosi's advantage over Lorenzo it's up to almost one second Marquez is a further half a second back here comes Rossi we ride with him Marquez in front of him I don't think he is quite close oh exactly is that the Vizioso I think as it well? is oh, fire from the Ducati the high side down he went what the fact of Ducati's Clattered in, believe it. They're trying to get that bike out. Oh, it's a is that He's at the big well. is. Oh, fire from the Ducati. The high five. Oh, 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 oh